qualifier and the leading qualifier in the women's pole vault. Now Silke, looked like a very comfortable qualification there for you. Yeah, I feel good. Uh, the qualification was very hard. It's uh, not normal that um, we must jump 4 meter 55 for a European Championship. And um, I think tomorrow is a, is a big and uh, fantastic competition for the spectators because it's, I think it's lots of fun because we are very good people and I can't say what is the best girl here. And uh, so I hope that I can jump with the medals. Was it difficult because you did have quite a wait before you were starting to actually vault yourself? Oh, yeah. For one week um, I was very sick. That was a problem. And I couldn't start uh, by the national championship in Leipzig. So that's the reason why we said we jump 35, 45 and make a little break to look and need a little break and to show what the other girls to, to do. And for this was the reason why we have this everything. Now, it's going to be a very interesting competition, as you say. There's yourself, there's Anna Rogowska. Just to run the rule over what we might see in the final, we're going to see some really big heights, maybe a 480. You've been jumping well this summer. Yeah, I think so. Um, the Finnish goal is very good. She jumped today, PB. Um, we must look what we can do uh, tomorrow. And uh, the problem is uh, that we have no one day for a break. In the summer outside, we have qualification one day free and then the final and now we must jump tomorrow directly and uh, I know the situation but other people must learn this and um, we must look if they can the same to do tomorrow. And you must have some very good memories of the European Athletics Indoor Championships after all two years ago in Turin you got 475, yes. uh, which was then a national indoor record and then your personal best. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to jump tomorrow PB. I, I hope that I can jump uh, PB. And uh, today the feeling was very good and uh, the jump was good. Uh, my trainer, my coach is happy. And so now I must talk with my coach in the courtroom there and then I hope he's happy. <laughs> And finally, for all those people across Europe who haven't been able to get over to those meetings you've been competing in in Germany, what sort of things have you been doing since the end of the summer? Because, of course, you did get a medal in Barcelona as well. It was a very successful summer for you. Little break, and then how has training gone? Have you gone away anywhere warm? Uh, yeah, so I'm a friend when we can jump outside. I like to jump outside. Um, and uh, we must go in the April to a training camp to uh, Greece. So I hope the weather is good and the training is good and the body is fit <laughs> and no sickness or everything. And uh, so um, I hope that I can jump very high in the summer and um, so that I hope I can jump for the medals in Daegu. Well, I said and finally, but one really final question. <laughs> Just talking about the sickness, I mean, you didn't get worried at all because it might have left you a little bit weak. Yeah, for two weeks um, I went to jump in Bitgosh. I was on Bitgosh, but the problem was um, I get with my stomach very big problems and then I have a little bit of fever. And um, so I couldn't jump there and must pass there and, oh, and said, no, oh, no, the same, last year was the same. And oh, I hope, okay, you have uh, enough time to the national championship, but uh, the weekend was not very good. and. On Monday I must go to the doctor and then I need an antibiotica and this was uh, not so good. So that's, I'm very happy that uh, our federation in Germany said, okay, you can pass the German uh, meeting and go then directly to uh, Paris. Well, you look in fine form now. You look as though you've fully recovered. Good luck for the <laughs> final and thanks very much, yeah. Selka. Thank you very much. <laughs>